Hi everybody. I see that some of you had some issues with Greenfoot, similar to what I had, where uh, the keys would stop working for some unknown reason, and I don't have a great answer for that yet. Um, I actually posted something on the Greenfoot website asking for a little bit of help from the moderators, and they kind of confirmed what I already knew, and that the code was fine. So we're not sure exactly what's going on there, but uh, we're going to move on. Now, what I've done, as you can see here, I've changed my code so that it responds to the left, right, up, and down keys, and that's been working for me. Now that I'm live, I'm sure it won't, but uh, we're going to try this anyway. So I'm just going to confirm. I'm going to put a wombat on my screen here, and I'm going to run, and I hit left, right, up, down. So, so far, so good with the movement, and uh, hopefully it'll stay that way and we can move on. Um, if you're still using... A, S, D, and W. Maybe try switching it to right, left, up, down and see if that works any better. Okay, now, some of the challenges I gave you the other day. Let's take a look at those. So, the first challenge said, make it such that the hero responds to either the A, S, D, W keys or the green foot, left, right, up and down keys. The way I would do that is I would, in here, I would use these guys, which is the OR symbol. And so I would say, if someone hits the left key, or if someone hits the A key, then I want to do this. And then I would take this, and I would copy, and I'm going to paste it here, here, and here. And if they hit right, or if they hit D, if they hit up, or if they hit W, or if they hit down, or if they hit S. So we'll see if that works. I'm going to put my wombat back on the screen, which is something I'm going to fix in a minute. I run it. So I'm going to hit left, up, down, or up, down, and now I'm going to hit A, S, D, W. Okay, so that seems to work for me, and I've got key control either way. So that's the first one, how to get A, S, D, W, and the left, right, up, down keys working. So that is the OR symbol. So if I hit left, or if I hit A, we're going to do this. If I hit right or if I hit D, we're going to do this, and so on. Okay, uh, create another object that your hero is going to, going to get. I already have one, so I kind of cheated. What I did is I right-clicked, I went to New Subclass, and I just picked something. I can pick anything I want, Apple, sure, and I could have called it Apple. I chose a plum, and all I do there is I would shift, and now I got plums appearing on the screens with my wombat. Now if I run it, don't get too excited because I'm not going to be able to do anything yet, but now I have another object in the world and it does not respond to key control. Now, why is it that the plum doesn't respond to key control? Because this is the code that controls the wombat, whereas this is the code that controls the plum, and I've told it to do absolutely nothing, and so nothing happens. It just sits there. Okay? Okay. Um, now it says make it some make it such that the hero and five of the collection items appear on the stage automatically. All right, so this one's a good one because you don't have to keep placing stuff in the world over and over again. So the way I do that, I've shown you the code for the wombat and I've shown you the code or the lack thereof for the plum. Now we go to my world. There we go. And this is the code that creates the world. Now, first thing I should say is do not mess with this, okay? If you mess with this, it's going to do things that you don't necessarily want to do yet. If you change these numbers, it'll change the height and the width of the world, which isn't the end of the world, but don't, uh, don't delete that and make sure that this is the first thing that happens in my world. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to hit enter after that super line, and I type add object, and then I say, okay, I want to, what do I want to add? I want to add a new wombat, okay, and then I got to figure out where I want to put it. I'm going to put it, uh, say, 200, 200, and what that is is like on the grid, so remember that's 0, 0, 200 would be about over here, and 200 would be about down here, so the wombat would appear right about there, okay? Now let's just see if it works. I click here. Hey, look at that. I was off. 200, 200, I guess, is there. But my wombat's there. And if I were to change that to a 4, now my wombat's over here. So this changes the location, the XY coordinates of where that wombat is going to be. Okay? Now let's 
copy, paste, and instead of a wombat, I'm going to put a plum. And I'll just move them somewhere else, so I'll change that to a 100. Okay, there we go. Now i got some objects appearing in my world, and I'm not putting them in there manually. I'm doing it in code, which is great. Now, I want more plums. So the silly way to do it would be to do this. Okay, that's great, but not great. What I really want to do is I want to use my knowledge of loops. And so I'm going to go for int x equals 0, x less than 5, x plus plus. And this is going to run a loop five times. So there we go. Oh, by the way, Greenfoot has this nice little feature where if you go up to the top, actually it's off my screen, but there we go and I go auto layout, it'll actually make it all nice and pretty for you, nice and tab indented, and your brackets will line up and all that stuff. But if I click here to see if it worked, oh, it doesn't look like it worked, I only see one plum, except there are five. The thing is we put them on top of each other because we kept putting them in 100, 200. So we need to be able to change that. Okay, the way I do that is I generate some random numbers. So, what I'm going to do is I'll generate a random number, and the way I do that is greenfoot dot, and then I hit control space, and look, get random number. Now it'll get a random number between 0 and whatever I put in. So I'm going to put in the limit of, let's say, uh, 400. Okay, so it can't go any higher than 400. And that's going to be my random number. Where do I want that to be? Well, I'm going to make that my x coordinate. And I'm going to paste another one here and make that my y coordinate. And I'm going to say my y coordinate can go up to, actually, let's say 350 for the y. And I'm going to say 550 for the x. Because the world is a little bit longer than it is high. So this says, I'm going to add a new plum at a random number x coordinate that goes up to 550, a random number y coordinate that goes to 350, and the fact that it's inside this loop means it's going to get run five times. Let's see. Hey, look at that. And if I reset, again, again, and so on. And so my plums are spawning, and we could just hit this button all day. It's lots of fun. And if I run the program, notice the plums don't do anything. My wombat can run around. Still can't eat them, but we're getting there. Okay? So, I'm going to pause it. And what I want you to do now is I want to keep going. You're going to keep going so that you can try to get all this stuff done. And the next one was to make it so that when the hero hits the collection, so in my case that I have here the plum. I think I had the hippo with grass earlier, and now I have a wombat with a plum. It doesn't really matter. Um... I want to make it so that when the wombat hits this, the plum goes away. And the, I've given you the hint, I think already, is, uh, or maybe I didn't give you a hint. The hint is you want to look at a method called get one intercepting object. So I'm going to bring over a browser so you can see. But if I type in greenfoot, get one. Ah, look at that. So. I think for today, I'm going to make sure that everyone's okay, make sure everyone can get caught up. And for those of you who are still trying this out, um, look this up, look up some sample code, and then see if you can get it going. Okay, See if you can get it so that your wombat's moving around the screen and picking up objects. Okay, And then we'll gonna, we're going to pick it up tomorrow at this point, and uh, if you can't get it, we'll continue. All right? If you have any questions, of course, email me. If you're having a, <clears throat> if your Greenfoot is still really buggy, let me know, and I'll try my best to help you out. Um, if you're having lots of problems with that, my move, like my moving, seems to be working now since I switched over to the left, right, up, down. I don't seem to be getting that stalling issue. If you're still getting an issue with your movement, try switching it to left, right, up, down. And if still doesn't work, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. All right. Good luck, everybody.